What a game number one so far. This is a BBL Collegiate uh, Finals. Take a look at this highlights of set number four. There's not basically much. If you're an FEU fan, it's been all UP, especially the last set. Pagkatapos sila ng Mamanado. In uh, a very tight one, yung set number three. Uh, set number four. So definitely, sinabi nga natin, no, hirap na hirap sagutin ng uh, FEU ang uh, opensa ng uh, UP. It was, you know, UP was just doing everything right, you know, in that last set. Their blocking was on point. Their, they started it with a very aggressive offense which they, they were able to sustain up until the end of that uh, fourth set. Lahat gumagana rin. And yung isa pang uh, naging problema nila at the start of this match, defense and service reception, which they were able to also address in that last set. And if you look at the numbers, Eric, in set number four, how impressive is that 17 attack points that was scored by UP. Diba, kanina sabi nga natin, first time umapak ng 10 points. Ngayon, 17 as opposed to only 9 of the Lady Tamaraus. And uh, the blocking, which we mentioned, they also scored 2 points there. Na nawala naman para sa Lady Tamaraus. So, the crowd very excited for the fifth set. I hope, are you there? Sa inyong mga tahanan, watching us on uh, free-to-air TV or even via live streaming. Magandang uh, gabi at magandang araw sa lahat po ng naroon. Eric Tipan with Andrew Muñacanda and our uh, courtside reporter, si Denise Dinsay. Uh, we call them your panel at large sa PBL. Game number one. Eh, very fitting na abot sa fifth set between these two teams. I am not surprised. And uh, tinamo naman, fifth set, much shorter set. It requires both teams to be very aggressive, and that's exactly what we're seeing now. Too aggressive in the case of uh, Heather Ginoo. First point going to UP of an attack error. Yun ang kailangan nilang iwasan. No room for errors, a much shorter set. They can't give away points They're just like that. Oh, wow. Nagatrasan everyone from the ball pa para sa FEU. And they get to save it though, pero free ball. And then, dahil sa kagulo na sila, uh, UP uh, taking advantage of the situation. If you look at the defense of FEU, nagkagulo-gulo rin, no? Yung uh, kanilang uh, positioning, kung sino ba kukuha ng bola. Domingo with a tip. Nakaabang na si Molde. Molde will attack. Oh. Napakadali ng uh, puntos para dito sa UP right now in set number five. And the fans are going crazy. Oh, why not? UP was off the slow start but now really dominating the court. Ano pattern tayo? Okay, stop! Maginig muna! Ano yung defense tayo? Defense pattern one, di ba? Huwag kayo mawawala sa pattern ng defense a very early timeout for coach George Pasco as his team wala sa problema nila no set number 4 dala dala ito simula ng set number 5 Baliktad lang nangyari, no? UP had a lot of problems at the start of, of, of this match. They were able to correct it as the game progressed. Pero yung FU had a very strong start. Pero parang napagod. Naubusan, eh. Naubusan. Sinuerte sila dito ang FU dahil nakalibra silang puntos of a service error ni Layon. Good serve. Free ball para sa UP. Here comes Molde. And FEU has had no answer to Isa Molde since the third set.
Lisa Bolden ang kawala na. And uh, she has really brought you a lot of problems para sa FEU. Pinabol. Eh. Sinabi raw natin na tahimik siya at the beginning. Eh. So itong si Bolden and Buitre really going all out. Speaking of Buitre, nakitawid yung bola. Dinaan sa lakas. And why not? Here comes Bolden again. Dug up by Duremdes. Papalo si Ginoo. Blocked by Ganaban. Negrito. Back set. There's a point through the block by Ebon as we go to the east inside. One strength that the FU Lady Tamaraos are proud of is yung kalaliman ng kanilang bench. That's why when they lost in the game one of semis against the Lady Tigers, says, hindi na takot ang FU. Be brave nga, ika nga nila. Now more than ever, they trust coach George Pasqua and his rotations. Patigasa na lang talaga ng loob and let's see who will come out on top. Eric and Ann. Alright, maraming salamat, uh, Denise. So, so far, we've seen yung uh, substitution pattern ni Coach Pasqua, but nothing has worked since set number Buitre. four. Down the line. Buitre. Pukuntos. Buitre has been unstoppable in this match. Look at that attack. Talagang uh, nakaiwas dun sa blocker. Ebon. Block. Good coverage by Villarreal. Malabanan. Ito, si Malabanan really struggled all throughout this game. Ebon, block, single, Ebon. lady. Turn block back. by Rosier. Rosier. Second that series, just imagine all the attempts of FEU. Naibalik ng uh, UP with their blocking. So it just goes to show, ano, talagang uh, net Service. defense Move. is working for UP right now. And Two of those single coverage para sa FEU. That's how good, uh, para sa UP, I mean. Uh, shows you how good net defense has been para sa Lady Maroons. Ebon, Ebon will Ando score. Three, six. But your momentum na clearly with UP right now. They're up 6-3, set number five. Duremdes, nakaabang sa tip ni Buitre. That hit is outside. And these errors really not helping FEU. In fact, making it a lot easier for UP to score those points. Magandang gabi sa mga nanonood. Mga barkada ko mula ng high school. Edilberto Martin J. Martin, nanonood. Magandang gabi. Service ace para kay Ayi Ganaban. Lady Maroons lead at 8-3 after change. Change over tayo. Lamang ang UP 8-3. And at this point, uh, kitang-kita yung momentum with the Lady Maroons. Ano bang kailangan gawin ng FEU? They've been struggling since set number 4. Well, I think for FEU, napakalayo nung nakikita nating laro. Ano? Ngayong 4th uh, and 5th sets, they're not as organized. We're seeing a lot more errors also mula sa kanila. And uh, minsan isipin mo yung depensa, nandun na yung tao, pero talagang nasa lakas ng balik ng bola ng UP, nahihirapan sila. So it's really all about keeping the ball alive, I think. First, yun ang unang-unang kailangan isipin ng FQ. Let's see if they can make an adjustment. Uh, dito sa last part ng set number five. Off the block, Rosier. Nine. A timeout here by Coach George Pasqua. One final uh, call and instructions to his team as everything going right para dito sa Lady Maroons.
Well, just words of encouragement. Wala kay Coach George Pasqua. Kapitan niya yan, hindi matapos yan. Let's see where and how the Lady Tamaraos will find motivation and encouragement, inspiration, confidence in this final stretch of set number five because saan talagang pinapahirapan sila ng Lady Maroons. A good block again. Mula sa UP, malabanan. Too close to the net. Uh, Pinalo, oh, and it sorry. goes outside Bulakay Malabad, who hasn't ten. really found her rhythm Three. in this match. So far for FEU, even their offense, Eric, ano, nagiging problema na eh. Uh, Maraming so, lumalabas na. sa linya. Seven-point lead for the Lady Maroons. Maristel Alayu contributing. Tip. Three. Doro enjoying the action here. Former Lady Maroon. Justin Doro. In. One. And it seems like Coach Pasqua susuko na ikanga. Kasi ilalabas na si Negrito. Papasok si Kayuna. Although four points away pa naman itong UP. Let's see if his uh, main setter will return para kay Coach Pasqua. Villarreal Papalo. Rosier. Rosier! Falling the in para sa UP. Now three points away from winning game number one. Rosier has been performing very well. She's been consistent yeah. in this match. Sir. Goes to Pupu with a finger raised and a smile across his face. Hernandez. Molde. Cayuna will set it up. Jeanette Villarreal scoring oh, off her running attempt. Randang will come in. Substitution for FEU. FEU 13 out, 14. Randang Right now, ang layo ng ahabulin dito ng uh, Lady Tamaraos. They're down by 8, 4, serving 12. And then Villarreal, serving for FEU. this game and the fans of UP on their feet as Negrito and Ebon they will finish out the game para sa FEU and right now uh, Lady Maroons is two points away from winning game number one in this best of three finals over receive Battle at the net, na Pandaluna ni Negrito. Intapek outside, Pablo oh, Ayayuk, uh, but maybe ah, just by a hair. Oh, yeah, just a few centimeters away from the end line. FEU, kita kita natin na, no, para just going through the motions. Na lang. Pero ang UP, you gotta love the energy. You gotta admire the effort oh, on these lady times. Ah, pa pa yung bola nasa likod na. UP na. Na, and dito ni Andre Bulacan. And take a look at the bench celebrating like they won the championship already. And it's just game number one. Pero dahil nga naman sa pinagdaanan nila dito, Rosie, they were down yeah. two sets to nothing. So to come back and bounce back. Great the turnaround for UP. And they are winning the last few sets convincingly Convincing also, Eric. That's right. Match point, UP. And there it is! Molde and the match for UP. From down two sets to nothing. 15, and looking like they didn't belong in the finals. UP, tulad nga na sabi mo, and convincingly and in dominating fashion, eh, itinaob 
yung two sets nothing na kalabangan ng FEU to win in sets three, four, and five. And look at the celebration of the Lady Maroons and their fans inside the Philoil Flying V Center. But this is definitely a good test of character para dito sa Lady Maroons turning the game around and uh, you know making sure that they were able to address all the shortcomings, all yeah. the weaknesses that they had in the first sets. And Marian Buitre with tears in her eyes and kahit na game number one lang to, you see the passion that they have and, and you know their dedication to this game na it, you know it, it feels uh, overwhelming to, to take game number one of this best of three. And it's always good to get that advantage, Eric. Maganda yung uh, ikaw yung nauna. And there's the confirmation of the five-set win ng uh, Lady Maroons. And take a look at how they lost the first two sets. Medyo close sa second set, pero naghabol din lang ang UP dyan eh. But how they won the third, fourth, and fifth set. Uh, really a great way for them to get rolling going to game number two. And, uh, you know, plenty of things apart from going home with a win it's really all about the learnings din na nakuha nila sa araw na to yung experience of playing against FEU this is a best of three final series Eric so baka katapat pa nila yan ulit at uh, magandang marami silang uh, maiuuwi na natutunan in this match well before we, we get to the best player of UP oh, well, I think they're set already let's go to Denise Dinsai <laughs> Marian, congrats to you for getting this game of upset and happy birthday! I heard it was your birthday. <laughs> okay, I just <laughs> I just wanted to ask with all the support going on, all the energy, how did you maintain your composure throughout the entire game? Well, I think I have to maintain like I have to control it because when I see my teammates trying to help me like tell me to contain it and my coaches <laughs> it's, it makes it easier and it makes it it just really calms me seeing them trying to help me out with that sorry i don't know well you did great at doing that now what's the game plan of up you know to uh, reduce your unforced errors and to finally maybe get a smooth sailing in game two um we try to uh like what coach said um when we watch the games we uh, remember um, the the tendency of the spikers and especially the servers and um, we try to how do you call that uh, counter their uh, yeah attacks exactly yeah. Okay, well it's great congrats and again happy birthday this is a great birthday gift congrats you can now <laughs> sing your album after song with your team thank you so much back to you Eric and Anne. Maraming salamat Denise Tinsay and uh, clearly uh, Rosalyn and Rosie are overwhelmed to the win and uh, tama yung sinabi ni Denise ano, uh, very uh, perfect birthday gift happy birthday Rosalyn and Rosie are celebrating it today with a win in game number one and, and of course also getting the, the best player of uh, the game so napakaganda niyan magandang umpisa it was an impressive performance from uh, the UP Lady Marines and uh, you know kudos to uh, Isa Molde stepping up when uh, the team needed her the most uh, Marian Buitre as well uh, Ai Ganaban, uh, Maristela Layug, I mean, so many great performers, overshadowing the performance of uh, Laika Ebon, uh, Jeanette Villarreal, Heather Guinot, and so many others from uh, FEU. Uh, well, let's take a look at the games on Wednesday, game uh, number two of this uh, finals, at the Poyung schedule, so that you're aware as early as now. Um, USD and uh, Adamson, this is the battle for third place. At, uh, Magkisimulaya ng 4 p.m. right here at the Philoil Flying V Center. And then pagkatapos niyan, around 6 or a little past 6 p.m., obviously, game number two of this best of three finals championship between the Lady Tamaraos and the Lady Fighting Maroons. And by the way, yung replay nito tomorrow at uh, 6 p.m., oh, sorry, 4 p.m., and then 2 p.m. naman yung replay nung uh, battle for third kanina ng Adamson and USD. Uh, thank you very much to our director, Al Neri. For uh, Denise Tinsay, Andrew Bulyakanda, I'm Eric Tupan. Thank you for watching game number one of this uh, PBL Collegiate Finals, won by UP over FEU in five sets. Our coverage brought to you by ABS-CBN Sports.